not gonna say, it's not gonna protect you, that's not gonna save you when I bring judgment up on Yeah, go ahead, bro. I looked up the word prior uh -huh. in the same scripture. Uh -huh. Which is uh Where you go, where you go to? You went in the blue letter? Blue letter, yeah. Oh, that's why I just read. Okay. Oh, okay, that's what I just read. It said to cry, to pray for vengeance. Okay, which one you looked at? The second one or the third one? It got one, it got one, it got two, and it got three. You at the root of it, right? I meant uh, where it said back by far and cry it. Let me see. This word right there, this word right there. Oh, you went to the other one. I went yeah. to cry. You went to the cry. Right. Okay, okay. Read that one. Read that one. What you got? He went. I went to cry, and he went to cry. Okay. All right. Uh, and what verse is that? Verse four, uh, James chapter five, verse four. Okay. You got cry up in there, and you got cry. So he looked up the word cry, and I looked up the word cry. So give me what you got. Huh? It's a uh, word is a uh, crazo, mm -hmm. which. Uh, Biblical usage, Z, it means to, to cry, to cry or pray for vengeance. Yeah, man. It's all, it's all, it's all the cry to the heavenly father for help. That's what it's about. It's all the cry to the heavenly father for help to aid us for vengeance to get Esau for what he has done to us. There's a people, what you got, bro? <laughs> this is the this is the Amplified Bible. James chapter 5, verse 4. It says, look, the wages that you have probably withheld from the laborers who have mowed your fields are crying out mm -hmm. against you for vengeance. Mm -hmm. And the cries of the harvesters have come to the ears of the Lord of Sabbath. Oh. And that's how these guys got rich, by us being in slavery, man, and by us forming for them, man, and by us building up everything so they can function as an a, a, a empire. You see? Hey, hey, y'all, y'all like it, y'all boy. Y'all even like it. Done, man. And that shows, and that shows how divided this world is concerning you Edomites. Because these Edomites in, a, in America, in the West, did not want to come across in the interview Vladimir Putin, which is the Edomite in the right. East. Try to put sanctions on them. That's what they saying. That's the way right. they talking. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's the way they talking, man. They don't need that. That was uh, the uh, in Europe. They were talking like that in Europe. But Tucker Carlson not even come back to the states. Right. But Europe, Europe, up under the control of America, man. You see what I'm saying? And Vladimir Putin was saying that. And then when you look at Joe Biden and, and his speeches and, and and how he how he maneuvered, man, he couldn't even hold no two hour. Sit down, uh, interview without no notes, without a teleprompter, man. He'll be forgetting all type of stuff, man. He bugged out, man. I can pull up, I can pull up uh, uh, videos of Joe Biden just just forgetting everything, man. He can't do no, he can't do no two-hour uh, interview with no notes, man, like Vladimir Putin did. Right. But then that shows you the decline, the decline. Because uh, he's a representation of America. They, did a, they showed you the decline of the mind state of the leader of America, man. Right? And the rest of the people up under him, man. Right? Because it ain't just him on the decline. It's a massive of the American people. Mind state on the decline, too. They're getting ready for the Super Bowl, man. <laughs> they get just what they're getting ready for. For tomorrow, man. Today's Saturday. They're getting ready for the Super Bowl tomorrow. What's today's day, bro? Yeah, the 10th. They get ready for the 11th. Tomorrow, Sunday, the Super Bowl, man. That's what they all focus on, man. You see? Turkey's and bread, man. Right. You know? So, that's it on that one? All right. Continue on now. Uh, this is James chapter 5, verse 5. Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth. Yeah, you have lived in pleasure, pleasure on the earth, man. Man, you see the Rothschild Estates, man? Yeah. You Google the Rothschild Estates, man, they got, hey, bro, they got it. They got houses look like hotels, bro. That's what you see. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then, pull it up. Yeah, show them, bro. Show them for the people who ain't never seen it. Who ain't took the time out to Google images. 
That's a Rothschild estate, man. You money it up, man. You money it up, you living like that, man. You money it up, man. You can fit the neighborhood in their house, man, where certain Jake live at, man. You can put the whole neighborhood in their house, man. Mr. Burns. <laughs> you know, I right, continue on. I call it me. This is James chapter five, verse five. Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanted. Yeah, you have lived in pleasure on the earth. Ain't nobody took you down. You just been going and living and doing what you been doing on the earth and 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 and, and, and will, man. Ain't nobody took you either my down, man. Okay, you just you got you got the you got you got the dollar bill with your face on it. You know what I'm saying? You got the dollar bill with your face on it, and you continue to give your wealth to what you. I didn't do anything. You see, and that's what you do. Continue to pass it down. You see, read that for me again, I. This is James chapter 5 verse 5. Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanted. Undisciplined. Okay, go ahead. Ye have nourished your hearts as in the day of slaughter. You have nourished your hearts in the day of slaughter. Give me that in a different translation. And why would this say right here in a different translation? Like, this, is, uh, <clears throat> this is the Bible of, this is James chapter 5 verse 5. Go ahead. The New International Version. It says, you have lived on earth in luxury. In luxury, man, you got it, man. These Edomites got it, man. They up, man. They rule and they got it, man. They face it on the money, so you can't tell me they ain't got it. You know, go ahead. And self-indulgence. Mm -hmm. You have fled, fled, fled yourselves in the day of slaughter. Mm -hmm. Fat, right? Yeah, fat. 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 So like, yep. Let me read that again. This is James chapter five, verse five in the Bible. Mm -hmm. This is a, the New International Version. It says, you have lived on earth in, in luxury and self doldrums. Mm -hmm. You have fattened yourselves in the day of slaughter. Go ahead. It says, uh, the New Living Translation. You have spent your years on earth in luxury, satisfying your every desire. See, that's the Edomites, man. Satisfying your every desire, man. You money up, man. You go in and everywhere, man. You all over the earth, spread out, man. And living in luxury, man. Go ahead. You have fattened yourself for the day of slaughter. You have fattened yourself for the day of slaughter. So you money it up, but you money it up so good that you just fat for the day of slaughter, man. That's why I wanted the brother to read the different translation, man. Good, good for the simple. Uh, it's a car, is always saying. Yeah, fat. Yeah, fat from the center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's concerning their wealth, man. Yeah. Concerning their wealth, man. You see? And all the things that you have done on the earth and flesh and all that, you just got fat to get slaughtered, man. That's what you have done, man. You have built all this wealth up on earth just to get slaughtered, man. Most likely gonna take you down, man. You see? You have, you have had the Israelites in slavery. You have got rich off of them, and you fat just to get slaughtered. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. This is uh, the Amplified Bible. It says, on the earth you have lived luxuriously mm -hmm. and abundant yourself to soft living and led, in, and led a life of wanton pleasure, mm -hmm. self-indulgence, self-gratification. You have fattened your hearts in a day of slaughter. Yup. Yup. So that's what it is, man. That's more. Uh, I can read that come to me. No, that's the only I just know the Amplified. Okay. So continue on now. So James chapter 5, verse 6. Ye have condemned and killed the just, and he do, do not re resist you. You said read that for me again. This is James chapter 5, verse 6. Ye have condemned and killed the just, and he do and he do not resist you. Yeah, because what it is is Israel ain't the nigga watching on the next right ain't wage war against you before you be taken down. They been complying with you, man. They think they think 
they think just for them having a job, they think they good. Right. But they don't know. They've been brainwashed, man. They don't know. Read the fuck again. This is James chapter 5, verse 6. Ye have condemned and killed the just. You have condemned and killed the just for where they got stop home syndrome. You see? You can't even do no wrong no more. Right. When we tell when we tell the nigga like you know they right that you wicked, they say, nah. Nah, you 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 racist. That's, that's what come out of their mouth. You racist, you choose to hate. Right. They got stop home syndrome. Okay? Go ahead. And he do it, not resist you. Jake don't even resist himself. Jake get gunned gun down and beat down. He don't even resist Esau to where he uh, gather arms and try to take down Esau. He don't even do that. He just hope Esau give him a job and keep getting beat down. You see what I'm saying? But it's the curses that all the Negro Latinos and Native Americans got them like that. And the Negro Latinos and Native Americans not supposed to build up no army to take Esau down. That's the, that's the job of Yahweh Shah, man. So if you try to do that for someone in Romans 13, you're going to get destroyed, man. Go ahead. Verse 7. Be patient, therefore, brother. See? That's what the whole side is saying to James. Be patient. Suffer. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Be patient, therefore, brother, until the coming of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit, fruit mm -hmm. of the earth. Mm -hmm. The precious fruit of the earth, the elect. You see? Go ahead. And have long patience for it. Have long patience for it, man. You see? Go ahead. Until he received the early and latter rain. To receive the early and latter rain. That's it on that particular verse. Come. All right, that's all I want out of that. You got out. All right, this is Psalms chapter 50, verse 21. Mm -hmm. These things hast thou done, mm -hmm. and I kept silent. These things have thou done, and I kept silent. Concerning Esau Edom. You've been done all this to the nigga like you know the name America, and he kept silent. Okay? So you've been ruling in pleasure, pleasure, you fat. You know what I'm saying? You're up concerning wealth. You just been living undisciplined. Everything is everything that you want is at hand rich. You see? Your house is big. You know, you up. While Jake in the mud. While the nigga like to know the neighbor in the mud, and they don't want to build up this place. And you pay them with uh, a Federal Reserve note. Okay? And then uh, here you finna you finna push the microchip on them, right? You finna push the microchip on them, and that is a way to work to the Jesus unlearned and have that Stockholm syndrome. That's a way to let uh, to let you know. Whoever submit to that want to serve you forever and give up their birthright. You see? Amongst the Negro Latinos and Native Americans. You see? Because that's what they doing. When they, when they, the ones who are going to take that mark of the beast with the microchip. They let Esau eat them know that they want to serve him forever and they want to be a vessel of Satan. You see? They want to wait on Esau eat them like a dog. Okay, go ahead. So thou thought, thought this that I was altogether such as one as thyself. Yeah, you thought the most high was with you. Okay? As if he wasn't gonna bring judgment down upon you. Go ahead. But I will reprove thee and I will set correct thee, letting the world know through the men that set up to teach this word that you rejected. You not my people. Y'all all, all like according to the Bible. Y'all are Edomites. Okay? You not the chosen. Okay? Go ahead. And set them in order before thine eyes. This is the order, man. To what we coming back to our nationality and knowing who you are and knowing who we are. You see? That's what it is, man. That's what it is. Go ahead. It's a moment. This is uh, verse 22. 
It says, it says now, now consider this, ye that forget the Most High, lest I tear you in pieces. Lest I tear you in pieces. Consider this, ye that forget the Most High, because what? When we get set in order, guess what's happening? Two thirds of our people are, are not remembering uh, who their power is. They want to stay with Esau. Go ahead. And there be none to deliver. There be none to deliver. Read that from again from the top. This is uh, Psalms chapter 50, verse 21. Mm -hmm. These things hast thou done, and I have, and I kept silence. Mm -hmm. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, mm -hmm. but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. So how are we being set in order? We coming back to our nationality, man. Right? And know who our power is. You know, like I was saying, Esau, Edom, we know who he is. The devil is the Bible speaks of, man. We being set in order, man. By the word, man. You see? And we can see these prophecies playing out, man. We can see them playing out, man. Give me a uh, second Thessalonians. Uh, hold what you got out. Hold what you got out. Give me second Thessalonians. Hold on, man. Second Thessalonians, the whole that chapter. Uh, hold on, man. Second Thessalonians. Uh, chapter. Two. The whole uh, verse four. Second Thessalonians chapter two verse four. Go ahead, bro. It says uh, this is Second Thessalonians chapter two. Go right now. Go back to the book. Oh, it's like it. yeah. All right. This is a. Uh, Psalms chapter 50, and I'll read it again, this uh, verse 21. These things hast thou, hast thou done, and I kept silent. Mm -hmm. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, mm -hmm. but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. Yep. Verse 22. Now consider this, ye that forget the Most High, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. See? So, all right, you Israelites out there, you better consider, you know what I'm saying, what Yahweh Hashem is doing, man. He said the Israelites in the order, right before these Edomites' eyes, man. Okay? So give me what you got in 2 Thessalonians, uh, chapter 2, verse, anyone got to read it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, chapter 2, uh, matter of fact, Start at uh start at uh start at three. Let me see what you got, let me see. Let me see. Uh, start at one. Start at one. This is uh Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse one. Mm -hmm. Now we beseech you, brethren. By the coming of our Lord, the Hawashah Hamashiach, mm -hmm. and by our gathering together unto him, mm -hmm. that ye, ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, mm -hmm. neither by spirit nor by word, nor by letter, letter as from us, nor by letter up as from us, as that day of Hamashiach is at hand. Yeah, day is at hand. Go ahead. Verse 3, let no man deceive you by any means. Let no man deceive you by any means. And that's including Esau Edom and these false prophets out there saying that uh, 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 Paul, Paul writing, which I'm talking about Sakari now, that Paul writing is not ordained, uh, has flaws in it. You see? Because that's what's being taught out there. Zakari is saying that uh, Paul writings are not ordained and they 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 got flaws in them, they got arrows in them. Okay? So go ahead, bro. So be not deceived by them or, or Esau eat them either. Go ahead. Let no man let no man deceive you by any means, mm -hmm. for that day shall not come 
except they're coming falling away first. Okay, so we had to fall away from our nationality. But as we was reading it, the most I said, look, I will set them in order right before your eyes, so we're being brought back. So we had to lose and understand, we had to lose the understanding of who we was as a people. Okay? And go through all this hell. Okay? Go ahead, bro. And that man of sin be revealed. That man of sin be revealed. Who's the man of sin? Esau Edom, so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. Okay? And you got, and you got, we were revealing it, and you got other, you got Edomites, okay, bringing out information concerning Esau Edom that he's the man of sin and the shit he's doing on the earth. Okay, go ahead. The son of perdition, the son of destruction, because that's where he's going, straight into destruction, man. All this wealth he got is not going to deliver him out of this situation. He's just getting fat. He's getting destroyed. You see? Son of destruction, man. Go ahead. Verse 4, who opposed and exalted his, himself above all that is called the most high or that is worshipped so that he so that he as the most high sitting in the temple of the most high showing himself that he is the most high. So these Edomites in power and while they was in power getting all this money they was painting all the pictures of uh, the biblical characters uh, so called white Okay, they had, they had the money to fund to fund these projects that they set up to deceive the masses of the people uh, concerning who the chosen people is. Okay, they had all that. Okay, in fact, they had all that. Okay, to deceive the masses of the people, man. Okay, that's why you liberal like to know the Native American got to consider uh, when he's setting uh, the Negro like. You gotta consider uh, what's taking place on the earth by her, by the Most High and Son setting us in order. Because when he destroyed Esau, Edom, okay, if you're not right, it ain't gonna be no deliverance for you. But the reason why I'm having this brother read it is to show you that Esau, Edom was gonna set itself up and as he is the chosen people. Okay, so you gotta consider them things. Okay, go ahead. Uh, verse five, remember ye not, that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. So Paul told us, he let us know concerning uh, how Esau even was going to do it, okay? He said the temple as he is the most high. He over there in Jerusalem, man, in our land, man, okay? They had the money, okay? They they, they empowered and we was in slavery and we lost our nationality and we didn't know who we was, but now it's coming back that that they the Edomites and they belong up under us as slaves and we can see in real time like when you watch that uh, uh, video concerning uh, Veteran of Putin and Tucker Carlson, he mentioned the Roman Empire, it took time for it to uh, fall. Which you refer which you refer to the Roman Empire, he said, look, it took time for the Roman Empire to fall. A period of time. He said now it's happening it's happening fast, which you refer to America. You see? Go ahead. Verse 6, and ye know what withholded that he might be revealed in his time. Okay, let's talk about Esau Edom. Go ahead. For the mystery of iniquity do, do it already work. Paul, Paul was talking about the Roman Empire back then. He was talking about the Roman Empire. The mystery of iniquity is already at work. And who was going to be uh, manifest in the future? Uh, the mystery of the liquid, Babylon the Great, which is ruled by Esau Edom, which are the Romans, man. Okay, just the Roman Empire all over again, man. Go ahead. Only he who now let it will let. It. See, the Most High is the one that's letting Esau do all this and let Esau be in that land and govern the earth the way he govern the earth. Go ahead. Until he be taken out of the way. Until he be taken out of the way. Go ahead. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. He be revealed now. He being revealed now. Okay, go ahead. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. He being consumed with the spirit of his mouth right now. By us out here teaching. Okay. By us out here teaching and letting you know who 
uh, Esau ate a meal, and he was contrary to the heaven of Father and his son, right? He's the devil, he's the bottom of Esau. The Russian eat of mice of the devil, and even American eat of mice of the devil. And the European eat of mice of the devil. You see? They're all devils. You see? And eat of mice. You know, but you do got some of our people that are scattered amongst them that look like them, but if they are the seed of Jacob, okay, they Israelite. But that's a telltale sign right there that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, to look like that. Is a sin when you read the when you read the Bible when you read Numbers the twelfth chapter concerning Miriam Moses' sister the look so called white is a sin. So the Israelites who are of Israel they gonna get their pigment back in the kingdom if they are the elect. Go ahead. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So when he come back, he gonna destroy Esau Edom. You know what I'm saying? When he come back in the father worship. Yahweh Shah, he's going to destroy Esau Edom. Go ahead. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. So Esau Edom is the adversary. Okay, he is the enemy of Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. With all power and signs and lying wonders. See, that's Esau Edom power on the left hand side. He got the, he got the money, okay? And with that money, be able to bring forth the technology to deceive you with the movies, okay, with the radio, uh, the media, and the home. You see what I'm saying? He got that authority and that power on the left hand side that's one of his weapons, that's one of his power to deceive you. And a lot of our people been taken by that deception because he that part of his power. Go ahead, bro. Like Cooper said, he said it's kind of hard to defeat the United States with the media. Yup, and the propaganda. The propaganda. Because yeah. Tucker Carlson was like, look, why don't you, because he hasn't got the North Street pipeline, he said, who blew it up? And Pooh was like, you did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 